Okay, it's uh, later in the evening. It's uh, 9.38 p.m. on uh, Sunday night, January the 4th, 2015. I do not need to go to work until 6 o'clock tomorrow after in the evening. So I've got a lot of time to kill. And I can sleep after I do this. I have had three drams to drink. I have had a organic Benroma. I have had a 15-year-old De Lewin, um, the last of the bottle. Oh, that was good stuff. And I had... Um, Glenn Farkless 15, which I enjoyed a lot. So, uh, look at my Cindy, Cindy's rabbits. Cindy's rabbits are right down there. Let's see, uh, uh, I can't. They're there. They're just, just down there. Both of them, they're just lying on the floor down, down there. Okay. Yeah, so I've had three drams, and I figure why not finish my night with something really special. Now I I I'm a fan of Scotch whiskey single malts from the island of Isla. I have tried everything, not everything. But I've tried examples from every distillery, and I'm slowly on the way to trying every example from every distillery on Isla. Whether or not I will succeed in trying all of them in my lifetime, I don't know. I could die tomorrow, or they could come up with so many varieties that I can't keep up with them. But I have had you know, things from Bruchelade, Bonahaven, that's two. I've had um, Kalila. I've had... Um, <laughs> I'm thinking of Speyside. Why am I doing that? Um, I've had um, Ardbeg. I've had Lefroig. I've had... What's the other big one? <laughs> Hardbag Lefroig. Oh, come on, you stupid. Come on. A Bowmore, obviously. And there's the other one. I've got some Lagavulin. I've got some right there. I had to look at it. Okay. Now that's seven, but there are eight operating distilleries in on the island of Isla. Number eight. Kilhoman. Now, Kilhoman is the only distillery from which I have not tried a whiskey. So it's time to do so. Seeing as I've had three drams already and I'm feeling really happy. And, um, the rabbits down there, down, down, down there. See the rabbits? They're the, ra the rabbits. <laughs> the rabbits seem to approve. They're not complaining. They haven't run out of the room yet, so it's good. <laughs> this one here, oh wait, I have to get more powerful glasses because these are good for watching the screen of the computer, which is over there, but I need something stronger to get closer. Excuse me a moment. Yeah. Okay. Okay. These are stronger glasses. It says Kilhoman Distillery was founded in 2005 and is the first distillery to be built on Isla for over 120 years. It is a farm distillery and a proportion of the barley used 
A proportion, okay, of the barley used in production is grown and malted at the distillery. A portion, actually. <laughs> this is good. <laughs> Kilhoman is one of the smallest distilleries in Scotland, producing 100,000 liters of alcohol per year. The spirit is filled into a combination of fresh bourbon barrels from Buffalo Trace Distillery, Kentucky. Good. Um, and fresh Aloroso sherry butts from Miguel Martin in Spain. This is the first five-year-old release from Kilchoman and has been aged in a combination of fresh and refill bourbon barrels. What a difference a couple of years maturation makes. Okay, now this is like taste in history because, okay, it's 46% it's alcohol by volume, but, you know, it's a 2006 distillation. And I guess this was bottled in... 2011 if it was five years old so this is like taste in history um i may never get another chance at this but there's still some at the store where i bought it now is there anything in the there's there's nothing else in the box but this this curious little bottle of kill homan well Let's see, what does it uh, what does it say on here? Since I got good glasses on. Oh, 2006 vintage release. Color light beach and darkening nicely with age. Peaty aroma, nice soft cooked fruits and Christmas cake palette. Cloves, butterscotch, soft citrus, mouth filling with a lasting sweetness. Finish. A classic Isla Malt. Now showing benefit of aging, peaty, fresh, and clean at the end. Oh, 46% alcohol by volume. Well, we'll give this a shot. They do have a um, irregular expression, which cost about, I think, $15 less. This was about $100 a bottle. Uh, oh, I Oh, let's see. Okay. That was a successful cap circumcision. And now we'll... Ah! There we go. Uh, ho, ho, ho. It's nice and... Nice light color. Oh, oh! I got a, I got a whiff of peat already. <laughs> oh, oh yes, a whiff of peat. Let's see. Let's coat the glass. I was just drinking some, um, some fifteen-year-old. Oh, what was that stuff? Some good. 15 year old Glenn Farkless out of the same glass, but I wasn't gonna wash the glass just to have another. I know this is this is a special whiskey. This is Mmm I repeat. Definite peat here. Mmm. And yes. I do detect some of the Some of the sherry finish, but mostly peat, mostly peat. And the sherry finish isn't overpowering like with um, Ardbeg Ugadal. Oh, hmm. I'm glad. Oh, this is this. I'm glad I saved this one for last because um, peaty whiskeys. Once you've had peat in you. You don't taste anything else. Mm. 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 Ho ho. 
You know, you know it's an Isla Pete whiskey. You just know it. Look how obedient they are. Look how, look how they just sit there. Just look at that. <laughs> Great. I love rabbits. <laughs> they are so good. And this is so good. Oh. I don't smell it so much now that I've tasted it. Mmm. I did not waste my money on this one. Mmm. I like peaty whiskeys like this, but this one? This one has something fruity in the finish. Now, I know the peat is really strong. But there is something... Wait, let's, let's cleanse the palate again. Mmm. Mmm. Now I don't smell anything at all. Was it 46%? Okay. You know, it's saltier. It's a little bit more salty than, say, uh, a leg of woolen or an art bag or even a Laphroaig. It's, 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 I'd say it's just a little more peaty than, than, than leg of woolen, but less than art bag. I'd have to try, you know. It's a little more salty, but you know, this is a quality product. And I will enjoy trying other iterations of Kilcoman. If anything are as good as the 2006 release. Now don't forget, this stuff was distilled when the distillery was just a year old. This was distilled one year after the distillery was founded. This is like some of the f earliest stuff that came out of there. There was a 2011 release, uh, which I guess is was five years old. But I thought I would try the oldest one or the earliest one first. I'm tempted to try the 2011. And then, of course, there have, there's another one with some Gaelic name on it that has some... That's, that's their main expression. But The people who make this definitely know what they're doing. Food quick. <laughs> Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>